A couple of weeks ago, Joe got the opportunity to work with the safari boats. He had a great time. So this week, I'm learning to be a house guide. So come and join me at Longneat House for this week's edition of Junior Rangers. house is over 400 years old and it is home to some amazing furniture and paintings. There is so much to see in each room and the house guides will help you get the most out of your visit. There are 16 guides in the house on an average day and they are all very knowledgeable about the house and its contents. And I'm going to be working with Ruth, the head guide, who has been here for eight years. Hello, Annie. What can I do for you? I've come to learn how to be a house guide. Indeed, have you? Do you like history? Yes. OK, what do you think is interesting about this house? Um, all the paintings. All the paintings. How many rooms do you think there might be in this house? Over 100. Yes, yeah, very good guess. There's 128. What about chimneys? Fifteen. More than that. Fifty. More than that. hundred and fifty. Not quite that many. There's quite a few chimneys. What about windows? Windows is easy to remember because there's 365. Oh, so that's how many days are on in a year. Absolutely spot on. Well done. I think you'll do very well. But it's such a big house to learn about. Shall we just concentrate on one room? Okay. And I think the best room for that would be the lower dining room, which is going to go through that door there. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the lower dining room, and it's a really posh room, isn't it? Yeah. You could have quite a party here because there's mm -hmm. 20 seats and 20 place settings, and each of those plates is individually painted with real gold. How posh is that? Wow. And 22 karat gold leaf on the ceiling. Look up there. That's really lovely, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, fantastic. And all around the room, you've got ancestors belonging to Lord Bath. And John Thin, who built the house, is this man here. He's 13 generations back from Alexander Thin, who owns the house now. He bought a redundant priory, which sat in this valley where we are now, and he managed to buy it for £53. That's not very expensive. Well, it was quite a lot of money in those days. So where can I find out more information about the lower dining room? The best way of learning anything about the house is to read the guidebook. OK. Have you had a chance to have a look through the guidebook yet? No. I'll go and get one. Let's go and find one. The guidebook is full of pictures and information about the house, and it is well worth reading. I've learnt a lot of information from the Longleat guidebook, but I need to find out some interesting stories and I know exactly who to ask. So I need some interesting stories to tell my visitors and the best person to speak to is Lord Bath himself. What stories are there about the lower dining room? Uh, well, let's take the one who built the house, Tom Thin. Uh, he um, nearly got executed when he was still in London uh, for embezzlement, but um, uh, he got off that charge, I think, by pulling strings, um, and then he decided it was not safe to be in London. It was um, uh, better find a place in the country and be ambitious for becoming a big man in Wiltshire rather than in London. And he spent most of his life building Longneat. Hadn't finished it by the time he died, but it was well on the way. What other stories are there? Well, let's take the um, second Viscount. He uh, married Louisa Cartwright, and she is the one who is supposed to haunt the house. Um, I've not seen her, and if I did, I would promptly leave. Did you ever eat here? Um, as, a, as a boy, I did at Christmas parties, um, but then there was quite a long gap when the house was open to the public and uh, we didn't eat here, except for the occasion when the Queen came to have um, lunch with us. And so we were all then seated round the table. I, I was somewhere down there. She was, I think, up here. Um, but it was a fine meal we gave her. 
so Annie's learning some great stories, but I've got a surprise for her later on in the show. Is she ready for her visitors, Ruth? OK, so Annie's had a look at the guidebook. She's met Lord Bath and talked about the ancestors, but what she's got to do now is take the test. And once she's taken the test, if she gets all the answers right, she's then a qualified house guide and can start taking members of the public around. So Annie needs to take an exam before she can qualify to be a house guide and show the visitors around. It's a bit like being back at school. Hmm, that gives me an idea. I can see that Annie's working quite hard. How's it going, Annie? The question's very hard. I'm not sure how well I'm doing. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that Annie has learnt enough about the house to pass the test. Well, Annie, I'm delighted to tell you that you have passed. Annie. You did very, very well. But what I suggest is tomorrow, when you've got to meet real visitors, you need to be very, very smart indeed. OK, have you got something that you can wear that's really smart? I think so, yes. OK, then. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'm sure you'll do extremely well, and congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely perfect to be a guide at Longley House. Very smart indeed. I would suggest before visitors arrive that you have a little look around this room and have a practice on how you're going to present your information. OK, is that a good idea? OK. Well, I have arranged some very special visitors for Annie today. This is her class teacher, Mrs Banks. And today she is at Longleat with her family to visit the house. OK, so Annie's in the lower dining room waiting for her visitors. She doesn't know you're here, so do you want to go on through to meet her? Lovely, thank you. I think this will be quite a surprise for Annie. dining room. Okay. And um, that picture over there is of um, a man called Sir John Finn and he bought the land for £56. Right. And in those days that was actually rather expensive but now it doesn't seem very much. And um, <laughs> he built Longleat House. And Queen Elizabeth I, she used to travel around the country seeing things and she wanted to come to Longleat House. But Sir John, she didn't really want her to come because it was like... How's Annie doing, Ruth? It's really good. It's very confident. She's looking the visitors in the eye, which is good. She's answering questions. I think she's absolutely perfect for the job. And that picture over there is a lady called Lady Louisa. Yeah. And she is the grey lady, the ghost who haunts upstairs. And um, she's a ghost because her husband... Well, Annie seems to have done a great job telling her guests all about the lower dining room and Lord Bath's ancestors. But what's Ruth's final verdict? Well, Annie, I think that was absolutely superb. I think your guests were very impressed with the knowledge that you've gleaned over the last few days. And I think you deserve to have a badge which says Longleat House Guide. And I'll pin that on there and that means you are qualified. Well done. And Mrs Banks? I think Annie did fantastically. She really remembered everything very well and um, we certainly have a much better understanding of what happened in this room thanks to her, her great knowledge. I've had a great time and learned lots of interesting things about Longleat House. So make sure that you ask the guides lots of questions when you come to visit and we look forward to seeing you soon. That's all for this week, but come and join us again in two weeks' time when we will find out the different ways that animals protect themselves from predators in Animal Defence. <laughs> <laughs>